Hello and welcome back to another turn resolution of War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. We're at we're looking at September, I mean sorry, October 27, 1942 today. And let's see what's gonna happen today. I I have a lot of stuff that's supposed to trigger but was supposed to last turn and didn't. Now <laughs> he keeps rotating in these uh, sub uh, first it was I-32 now I-35 then I-35 now I-25 um, see if we can knock this one out of the war so far no, not really okay we know where he's parked we'll, we'll come back out and try to have some fun with it All right, that's unfortunate. We do have some night strikes scheduled, both, well, all three of these bases. I probably should schedule some at Chiang Mai as well. Uh, these Hudsons are going to um, get past these Nates and... Mm, do nothing. All right. Of course, he's going to cap this now. After se severe storms. Eef. That's bothersome. I can't control the weather. But this whole Burma campaign has, uh, the last few months has been terrible weather. Okay, not bad. We actually get some hits on Pegu. Maybe I should have skipped Mole Mine. All right. Ooh, we actually... Uh, oh, nice. We're getting some damage on his aircraft there on the ground. I don't know what he has there. It didn't specify. Even with the severe storms and only four Wellingtons, we ha we actually get three damage in that damages in. Okay, four runway hits here at Pegu. This has been a decent raid there. Hopefully, I, I doubt we're going to do enough damage with Blenheims to make it unusable. Okay. All right, we'll skip the air-to-air um, -air component of that action and um yeah it looks like the um wellingtons are doing the did only the only damage in here all right we've got some helens coming from maybe bangkok here all right we do some damage to his helens all right, Wellingtons, you guys are the only ones that have done damage. Let's see. Nope. Got these piecemeal night bombings because we can't coordinate. All right, good. I was going to say this is shallow water, guys. You guys should be able to um, get into this sub. And we do uh, damage uh, with a near miss. Where's some direct hits? Okay, we got a direct hit. Critical damage. Nice. Okay. Another near miss. Okay, three hits. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't do enough damage to make it surface and sink it so he'll get away and and survive for another day what i'm really frustrated and trying to take out of the war is whatever supply ship he has here because he keeps coming back and resupply and if i could sink that i think i could keep him from doing this okay um come on guys find him okay Dent is attacking anyway. 
but he loses contact, but I guess he's still going to fire anyway. Um, he does damage it. Just one, one near miss. Okay, um, so we get a Mark 14 into this thing, and on fire heavy damage, I hope we sink it, but it is carrying troops, so. Well, but we didn't hear it sink. Now, we're in shallow water, so this is dangerous territory for this, um, Dutch sub and it does take some uh, yeah near miss damage let's get out of there guys hug the bottom like they're Japanese counterparts uh. okay um, three hits they're all near misses uh, let's see if we can escape okay hit but um, so we do hit okay so one of the things that was bothering me is all of our misses so the fact that it's a dud that's okay because we're expecting that with the mark 14. the fact that we hit is promising and hopefully we can look forward to more of those hits as our dud rate drops okay so we're flying the friendly skies Okay, we had some cancellations here at Portland Roads. Okay. Some sweeps here. Oh, we're uh, we're sweeping him. I think he swept here, and we're sweeping right next to him. That's hilarious. All right. Okay, we're... Uh, okay, this is our first mission at Buna since we've set up our sweeps, so let's see how it goes. All right, so we're sweeping neighboring hexes. That's hilarious. Okay, damaging Wen Chow here. Not surprised. That's been a thorn in his side for quite some time now. Okay, we got 12 SB3s. That's, I think, the whole, all, literally every bomber I sent over here. Um, but we don't do anything. And I noticed it looked like, yeah, it was a field artillery regiment. So I was really looking forward to getting some damage into that thing. All right, uh, we are hitting Horn Island pretty good with these troops here in an atoll. So it should be pretty soft. Um, okay. Hitting the, uh, yeah, hitting the base here at Buna because he is rebuild. He keeps repairing. I have to cycle through these bases to keep them damaged. Okay, ten runway hits. All right. Um. Yeah, that's a decent raid with eleven runway hits. Okay, he hasn't yet, and this is all twelve B seventeen Ds. That's nice. He hasn't yet started flying cap here um, and I don't know that bombing Buda is going to affect his long term goals but um, hey if we can remove a base uh, an oil supply base why not
Okay, now he's just sweeping. Um, see how our fighters do. All right. Um, so this doesn't start very well. <clears throat> Alright, he must have good pilots on these zeros because we're not, it's like we're not even getting a shot. I, I recognize he was doing uh, diving on us, but we're not getting any shots off on these um, zeros. Alright, so that's, that's clever. Come in with a sweep and then bring your bombers. Alright, so... After that, or considering that, what I'm going to do at this stage is probably pull out of there. Although, I may be able to cap it with some more fighters than that next time. And also have them layered uh, higher. Um, his zeros can't be doing too much of that without a lot of um, fatigue. All right. So yeah, he's bombing us in the north, and he's definitely damaging our troops up there. Okay, well, he... He didn't come after our ship, so that's promising also. Okay. All right, he's going in to attack 2nd British Division. I think we're going to hold. We have a level 4, a uh, level 1 fort, sorry. And it does come to one to two odds. Oh, boy. Um, we actually keep our defense, uh, defensive value. Um, this, is, this is making me nervous, though. Let's see. Our AV dropped dramatically. Let's roll down a look. Okay. So we hold off, and we cause some disruption to his units, which are recoverable, and only seven destroyed uh, devices. But we actually have less destroyed and less disabled. So we, I think we come away a bit better on that one. Um, three, seven total. We have five. Um, and, and I have my guys on. Um, I'm going to divide them up and try to recover this quickly. He may do the same. All right, let's do this. The usual um, bar bombardments around the map. None of these are worthy of writing home. Now this is nuts. We Our counter battery is pretty impressive here every turn. Um, but our, our defending value is dropping. I guess part of that is we did pull out a whole brigade because we're rampant. We, we ended up using it to do some, uh, I think it's guarding this hex right there. All right, we're bombarding Tungu. And see, look at this. We got in here to block his uh, escape plus supply coming in. So these three hexes sides are blocked from supply. And we're trying to um, move into, into using these two hex sides, move into Tungu so that he basically has no supply coming into here. Should be able to... Uh, Defeat him next, you know, next. Well, maybe not next attack, but slowly over time. All right. We're crossing into this. Uh, we, we may have a hard time shock attacking this because of his. Okay, we capture it back. 
and we send his armored car running. Um, oh, wow. We destroyed 22 vehicles. Um, and I don't, again, I, I have a hard time understanding where he gets his supply from. But um, where he gets his supply from. But now he's blocking the road, our road. But we do have potential supply coming down this bigger, wider road anyway. All right. Um, but, yeah, we have just a Chinese Corps with a bunch of infantry. I don't know what they have. I, I've been trying to equip them with anti-tank guns and then the 5th Armored Car Company. But we get in there and knock out all of its armored cars or a good chunk of them. Uh, it was not bad. All right, I, I'm gonna take a brief minute. We're gonna look at air, uh, the, um, the just the losses, because I want to jump right into October 28 turn resolution. So. Okay, some nice reinforcements here, in my opinion. All right, now I just recently said nice reinforcements. The two air units you saw up here in uh, Sydney were um, actually transfers that used the railroad, and they were um, basically seaplanes for uh, that are intended for some of our capital ships. Anyway. We actually lost no aircraft, which is a surprise. I thought maybe we'd lose some F4, F4s or something like that. But just zeros across the board. He loses four total. Uh, this isn't bad for him either, for that matter. And uh, we can take a look here. All Nates, which he doesn't care about. I'm sure he has the, his worst pilots in him as well, um, which he may have lost four pilots. Yeah, I was going to say we should have lost zero. And then, um, with no confirmation of any ship sunk last turn. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you can take a look at that if you like. And real briefly, we will jump down here and say, so these are the two um, seaplanes moving. We get this Waller destroyer. Uh, and take a look at this if you like. And... Um, yeah, I guess I'll take one more second and we'll look at, uh, yeah, right here, uh, how fatigued. See, we're already up to 18 fatigue with these F4, F4s. Uh, we got to get these buffaloes back into business. And um, see, look at this. We did take a lot of damage, and right now we have a lot of guys sitting here under maintenance. So uh, it's going to be hard to keep air cover over Tarawa if we're parked on that runway instead. Um, but, yep, we're unloading here. Still, though, I, I just don't know. Should I get my ships out of here? They, they still have probably about three, four turns left to unload. Should we bug out um, and forget about it? Or should we just stay and... Um, keep the cap up as much as we possibly can. Um, I don't know. But I do have a, another squadron of F4, F4s parked right here. Um, so we could get them in action ASAP. I don't know. That's something I'm going to look at, but um, we'll, uh, you'll find out, I guess. <laughs> October 28th. Okay, it's October 28, 1942. Let's see what happens today. Got some extra, well, I hope, extra fighter cover over Tarawa. Okay, Gunnell. Gunnell? Um, here in the Marshalls, trying to <clears throat> be a pain. 
Yeah, we're about uh we're below the depth charge level. Uh this has troops on it too, but we didn't get it. We we didn't get it last turn either, which means the troops probably got off. That's a shame. All right, his Helen's come at me. We do have some cap. It's not much, uh, but hey, it's something, right? Maybe it'll disrupt his bombers. Let's see. Let's see if we can flag some. Uh, the severe storms should help too. Let's. Okay. All right, now we're bombing. You know, hey, uh, look at that. We lost several of our bombers uh, out of fear of Nate. Severe storms here. Here's the thing. The weather has been so terrible here. And the key site that I'm trying to bomb, and he's trying to bomb, both of these, are both under severe storms. Um, so that's kind of a shame. It's... it's um, mildly frustrating that you uh, the the one play I mean I'm sure it's frustrating for him too the one place you really want to get bombs into is the one place that continues to be bad uh, weather okay this is heavy rain and we don't hit a thing So, bet if I bombed something else like Pegu, I uh, well, I don't even know what I was gonna say. It's fine. It, it is what it is. We're moving on. We do get one runway hit. Okay, it looks like an unescorted cargo ship here. <clears throat> We're missing, how, look at that, eight, eight torpedoes, uh, at least six of them miss, one hits as a dud. These, what, these crews are terrible, man. I don't even understand what these... Uh, battle what these ships are doing, but that's fine. Okay, guys, come on. That sounds ominous. <clears throat> okay, so he's sweeping Sion, so I need to cap Sion. Okay. 
All right, guys, what do we we actually take a damaged SB3 and some runway hits. All right, so he's flying from one of these three bases, I'm sure. <clears throat> so maybe we can uh, retaliate there. Decent hits on the base, especially considering I believe the weather was oh light rain. What what was it? I was which one of these? Oh, I think it was anyway. One of these was severe storms. Yeah, this uh, Port Moresby. <clears throat> All right, I guess that's all the air we're going to see. All right, let's uh, knock these things out here. Where does it, oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking, but these are all these Chinese bombardments. <clears throat> You notice he didn't attack us there in Burma. I think his troops got pretty wrecked down there. Uh, right here. Um... So we cross into here, one to four. Uh, we don't take any damage because um, we got in here uh, with armored cars or something. So uh, we destroy a squad. I'm surprised. Oh, he has 23, but the adjusted is 76. Because the terrain, uh, leaders, and morale <clears throat> is a malice. Uh, so his morale must be down, but our fatigue is up. So we're just going to have to chill and uh, rest these this armored car. And then we should be able to try it again. 
And now that the armored car is here, we can start moving more guys into this hex. Uh, we don't have to... The, the main thing is I didn't want to move my HQ into here without help. And now I think we're safe. All right. Um, yeah, we're just still bombarding up here. Apparently he still has counter battery, which tells me he still has some supply. All right, Tarot. Oh, I just realized something. He didn't bomb us at Tarot. Nice. That, I doubt it's weather related, but who knows? Maybe it is. And yeah, we'll jump into talking about what's this situation on the map. <clears throat> okay, you can see here we had another light air uh, day. <clears throat> we did lose six total. He lost three. Uh, look here. That outbreaks down. Um, two nates. We did catch one in the air. One ops and a Tojo to ops. Um, we lose two P-38s. That's not ideal. A P-40 Warhawk um, on the ground. Yeah, these were uh, due to his shore bombardment. And then a B-26 and a B-24. Okay. Did we lose any pilots? One killed, one wounded. Mm, the I, Well, I don't like losing them, but the ratio isn't bad. Uh, let's see. Okay. Nothing, uh, I don't see anything new here. Uh, we can also look at the ops real fast. And <clears throat> we got some, we got an escaped pilot. We have two refits. Um, Langley is being refits. So that's cool. Uh, I know some watch out for Langley, what, how it's doing. Kings Co. Okay. Darwin expanding port. That's nice. Tarawa fortifications and Lahaina. Okay. And you can see the rest of this stuff here. <clears throat> um, let's see. All right. <clears throat> we had some air units. Look at this fatigue. Uh, that's just, that's just, uh, these guys are trashed. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'll have to come back, circle back. I may have to send some of these guys out anyway. The morale is good. I may just say, suck it up, guys. We need, we need some squadrons covering the invasion force. But you can see here it's slowly unloading. We've got probably three more turns of unloading to get these troops off. Um, is it critical? Uh, not really, I wouldn't say. But um, <clears throat> we do have 14 an aircraft. I don't know if that helps the ships in this hex. Um, the ships may have to have fend off uh, for themselves, fend off the air units for themselves. Um, trying to get this unloaded so we can get it back to port or somewhere where it can repair. Um, but see, it's carrying mostly heavy equipment. That's going to take forever to unload. Um, at least it has a port. Let's, uh, well, I'm going to keep fortifications building until we get to two. I mean, fortifications only. Then we'll start expanding the port to help unload quicker. Um, all right. So moving on from there, um, you can see Tulagi has significant damage still. This is basically all but repaired. <clears throat> uh, Milne Bay does have some port damage. Keep that suppressed. 
these bases are pretty wrecked. I may hit the port again, keep it, keep it knocked out, and then. <clears throat> All right. Um, we do have some amphibious task forces here ready to go. I uh, just need to get now the the Enterprise should be repaired, so I should have four carriers uh, ready to go. Well, three here. Hmm. No, Enterprise needs one more day. Uh, all right. I'm going to give it one more day because it might as well be fully repaired. Have <clears throat> four carriers uh, come up and escort, uh, basically give air cover. And I do have fighter station here and here, a land base, so they can also cover out to a certain point. The P-38s I may uh, have to rest and and wait for uh, to do something uh, covering the landing force as well because I expect I know he's been upgrading lay so I expect some um, air units to come out of here and out of a ball and hit us so I'm gonna have to cover our invasion group with as much as I can get the carriers can park somewhere in here and and just um, <clears throat> keep keep air cover also okay uh I, I don't like what's going on in burma i i feel like the best was when i was back here on the a counter attack because this area is soft for him uh it was easy to get up in behind him and do some things the problem is i allowed him to retreat down to here and set up a base if i would have come in behind and moved up and and that was my initial thought but i tr pulled the trigger before S british second division was ready and therefore now he has this um base established and uh it's hard to knock him out but i'm going to look at the information i have i'm going to look at the bombers that are here how ready and available they are and what i might do is do another ground bombing and another attack because if we look at our soft these are probably as low as they're going to go in the malaria zone as far as fatigue uh, i don't know his levels which are i imagine are similar since again we are in the malaria zone if i can do a decent bombing campaign of these ground troops this turn i should be able to hit it hard and um <clears throat> knock him out We'll see. Um, but yeah, we've uh, now see light cloud. Uh, would have been nice to be able to deal with that last turn. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect. He's got, you can see here, 215 fighters. Um, it would have been nice to knock out some of those fighters with ground bombing. I mean, with um, the airfield bombing. I'm guessing he's going to fly is max cap here uh okay look he also brought in troops to take us out here as well but if you look here um now he could be moving this way which tells me i need to get some guys into position um right here it may take him a while to get to this hex but he will probably go there um so i think i'm gonna this this is gonna take a long time so i'm gonna get this unit down there it should it should go rather quickly because it'll use the road and it's an armored unit it should go quickly <clears throat> and um this is almost to prome and then i'll direct it southeast uh so that's what i'm gonna do there um and then the rest of this I'm going to literally come into this hex with everything. Yeah, it's going southeast because it doesn't want to run into these troops. It's kind of on auto mode. Um, yeah, I'll send in the um, HQ as well. And everything will come into this hex. <clears throat> I may wait because look, our disruption of fatigue is so high anyway. 
I may wait until reinforcements get here, then we'll attack. Uh, should be should be able to um, eliminate this by then. And this guy, I don't know how quickly he's moving out of this hex, but I don't want to keep him going back and forth here. It's very very annoying. Let's just let's just say that. So what I'll do is I'll keep an eye. If it gets close, I may just say, forget it, cancel the move. Uh, <clears throat> because I don't... If he has to retreat, it would be nice if he retreated this way or this way. If he retreats here, I can go here and take this hex anyway. Um... I don't really want to allocate anything to capture that. I was going to send a small battalion to take it. But that battalion would be this one. I don't know. It's just, uh, this is not ideal situation to be in all around. I, I'm surprised how much of a, a thorn this little unit is. Um, anyway... <clears throat> and that's what's frustrating me about this campaign, is this little unit here. Alright, so I think I'm going to do full effort to, to hit this with everything I have. And, um, and we'll go from there. Uh, I really need to figure out how to stop these ships from bombarding. But that's kind of what this mine layer is supposed to do. It's supposed to go in here and lay mines. And um, at Rangoon, let's uh, fill refuels fine. Now it's going slow, like I want to say probably four to five hexes per turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think I'm just going to keep it on this path. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Um, I can do this. Let's do this for now. I don't want to do what I did again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can move it here. Let's, let's just do this real quick. Okay, if we do that, what does that look like? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, if we go here to 50, 51, I'm not saying that's a guarantee of anything. Um, then we can do a full speed at six into Rangoon and dump the mines. Um, but for now we're going here. I'm not going to turn mines on right now. I'm just going to go here and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Make sure remain on station or else we're going to, um, start heading back. <clears throat> Actually, maybe I'll do full speed now. Because then we can get to this hex this turn, and then this hex the following turn. <clears throat> All right. Um, we got more more tr cargo ships, light cargo ships coming. The idea is to is to um, have expendable light ships and come up here and bring some more supplies. Uh, because especially with this thorn here, he's going to block supplies coming in uh, from Akyab. Okay. He's retreating from uh from um Tungu, which is probably because he's feeling a, a supply shortage. <clears throat> I am, like I say, tempted to do an attack here. I probably will. It may not do anything but just wreck my troops again. But it'd be nice to, to kind of get a feel for what he has. Um, maybe beat him up a little bit. Especially, I don't think he's in move mode. I bet he's combat mode to get out of there. Um, I'm going to divide this. Let it repair quicker. Should have probably been doing that with some of these units. But I didn't. Like this right here, 94. Oh, I can't split that one out. 
Oh, that's a shame. The 23rd British Brigade is wrecked and looks like it's going to be for some time. Um, we still have the numbers on him. I may just let that one, let this unit sit out. I don't know. Um, Anyway, it does have the most experience, the highest mor well, almost the highest morale. And, uh, you know, again, all the levels are pretty good. I don't know. Maybe let him withdraw, take Tungu, and then move down here and hit him here. I, that's a thought. Because <clears throat> whatever's moving... It might be something small, though. Because I, I, you can see the little tag that shows he's moving southeast is below some of the higher... Anyway, there's some units staying here and some units leaving. And um, I just don't know what's moving out of there. So it's hard to know. Um, he's in this hex bombarding us, but he doesn't have... He hasn't chosen to attack yet um yeah seven afvs left in that little unit i mean i guess i could go advance and try to take them out um these guys should be here shortly we can even flip to combat mode and we're going to be building fortifications all right, so I've kind of gone around the map and covered the things that I think are probably the most important stuff. Um, <clears throat> Nothing uh, stands out as like overwhelmingly uh, crazy. I, f I feel like I'm going to be more historical, not historical on purpose, but more historical because that's that's where the least resistance is. See, he's moving troops from Port Moresby, which should allow me to take it e easier. Uh, plus, that's where my ships are uh, and troops ready to go across. My carriers can come up, my battleships. I can have some forces hit Port Moresby a lot sooner than anything else. Well, any of these three. I also have things ready to hit um, this area down here. Um, and we've taken Tarawa. So I'm saying that in the context of it looks like Southeast Asia is a quagmire and it may be for some time, in which case this will be the focal point of the allied counterattack. And we'll just try to hold, hold him up and, and cause challenges for him in, uh, in Asia, so and and do most of our attacks in the Pacific. Now, having said that, I do have reinforcements coming down from Akiab that should help turn the tide, but we'll see. Anyway, in the meantime, um, I'll get off now, but we'll come back and talk about October 29. We're almost done with the month. We'll see what November has in store for us and uh, keep pushing on. Thanks. Take care, everyone. Bye.